Recently, I discovered that the Amazon is beautiful, diverse, and absolutely horrifying. Turn on a light because it's about to get dark as we discuss some of the most terrifying Amazonian discoveries to date. Up first on our list, we have the incredibly bizarre appearance of a massive humpback whale in the heart of the Amazon jungle. No, I'm not kidding, a humpback whale was legitimately found washed up on land 50 feet away from the nearest ocean. And how it got there? Honestly, no one really knows. In 2019, the 36 foot, 10 ton animal was discovered far from its natural habitat in the undergrowth of the jungle. It was located after scientists were alerted of a large gathering of scavenger birds spotted in the jungle. There are a couple theories as to how or why the whale ended up where it did, none of which really do it for me, but I'll share them with you so you don't feel left out. The first theory is that the 10 ton whale was thrown out of the water and into the woods by rough seas after floating too close to the shores of Arona Beach, which is strange because whales are not usually found along the north coast of Brazil during February when the specimen was found. Not only that, but you're really telling me rough ties through a 10 ton whale 50 feet into the jungle? Yeah, I'm just not buying it. Another theory is that some kind of mysterious alien force dropped the poor guy there, which honestly might actually make more sense at this point. But as always, when I can't figure something out, I'd love to know what you guys think. Next on the list, we have the boiling river of the Amazon, the perfect spa date location for someone you really don't like. The river's name is Shanai Tempishka, and it is said to be the home of an ancient Amazonian water spirit. Located in the heart of the central Peruvian Amazon, the river flows at a temperature of up to 200 degrees Fahrenheit, 93 degrees Celsius, for just shy of four miles. The waters range from quite shallow all the way to 16 feet deep, and the widest point of the lake is 80 feet across. The river's heat comes from thermal vents, and while hot springs are not unheard of in this world, the magnitude of Chennai makes it a record-breaking find. Something else has also set this river apart from others found in the past. Generally, thermal rivers are heated by volcanic activity underneath the earth below the waterways, but that is not the case for this hot giant, which is heated solely by the earth's geothermal energy that escapes through cracks in in the floor of the riverbeds, warming up the waters. Good for swimming? Absolutely not, but you could always make a cup of tea. Next on the list, we have the Goliath bird eater, and heads up, it's a spider, and yes, it does eat birds. The Goliath is a massive tarantula. Its body measures in at about five inches, and it has a leg span of up to 11, which makes this thing certified nightmare fuel. The animal is obviously a carnivore, consuming not only birds, but mice, lizards, and frogs as well. It hunts by pouncing on its prey and then piercing it with inch-long fangs, which act as hypodermic needles, pumping neurotoxins into the bodies of its victims. The spider then drags its dinner back to its burrow, where it liquefies the animal's insides before sucking it dry. So now that we know how it catches its own prey, let's discuss how it avoids becoming someone else's. The Goliath has pretty bad eyesight, but it does have highly sensitive leg hairs that can sense vibrations from all around. When the spider notices a predator is getting too close, it will rub its legs together, releasing the tiny harpoon-like hairs, which are tipped with stinging barbs, into the air, irritating predators' skin and eyes, strongly encouraging them to find a different meal. Also, they can lay between 50 and 150 eggs at a time, which is just awesome. Next on our list, we have the vampire wasp, a large-headed parasitic animal that grows to be just 0.2 shy of an inch, discovered in the Peruvian jungles of the Amazon. Two things you should know about this animal. One, the vampire wasp feeds by stinging its prey and then sucking out the blood and other internally bodily fluids of its victim. And two, the females lay eggs by locating a suitable insect host, stabbing it with their their ovipositor, which is basically a tube-like egg-laying organ, and then laying eggs under the host's skin. When the eggs hatch, the juvenile wasps remain under the skin of their host, feeding on its insides until they become fully grown. I love you guys, but I hated learning that. Next up, at our halfway point, we have an animal absolutely no less terrifying than the rest, going by the name of T-Rex leech. And it was discovered, drumroll please, inside someone's nose. Also known as the Tyrant Leech King, this animal can grow to be just under two inches. Of course, as a leech, it survives by sucking the blood from its prey. Of course, as a leech, it survives by sucking the blood from its prey. The way it does this is by using its 8.13 millimeter teeth situated around its circular jaw to bite down on its prey and then moving around in a sawing motion to open up the wound. 
already, I apologize, but in the name of entertainment and at the expense of me sleeping tonight, I'm gonna keep going. Besides the T-Rex leech's abnormally large teeth and body, there is one other thing that makes it just a bit different than others in the leech family. Instead of attacking exposed surface skin, this guy likes to get a little more intimate, aiming for the orifices of its host bodies such as, well, noses and mouths. Usually the noses and mouths of livestock, but judging by the nature in which it was discovered, I'd say they're really not that picky. Moving past our halfway point today, we have the giant centipede, which can grow up to 12 inches. Yay! This large and absolutely horrifying animal has a body that is composed of 21 to 23 distinct sections, with each section having its own pair of legs. Quick maths, that's 42 to 46 pokey little yellow legs. The animal generally feeds on insects, snails, and worms, and it does so by utilizing their quick speed to catch their prey, and then biting down hard with its two front legs tipped with large spikes that work like pinchers. The spikes then administer a paralyzing venom to its prey, rendering it well, screwed. I'm gonna ease your minds for a moment and let you know that these guys aren't really interested in attacking humans. Now that the moment's over, I will let you know what happens on the rare occasions these guys do decide to stray from their straight and narrow. The bite of a giant centipede can cause a person to experience headache, chest pain, heart tremors, nausea, and vomiting. Super cool. Moving right along, we've got the world's most powerful electric eel, bear with me, Electrophorus volti. It's a small, relatively docile animal, Oh wait, no, it's not. It's actually a two meter, six foot seven inch long monster that can weigh up to 20 kilograms, which is 44 pounds. And it has sharp teeth on both its upper and lower jaws that it uses to tear apart its prey of small fish and shellfish. Don't worry, I know I bury the lead and I bet you're all dying to know just how electric this eel really is. Well, let me start off by saying the previously highest recorded voltage of an electric eel was 650 volts, which has caused fatal heart and respiratory failure failure in humans when shocked multiple times. This new guy's voltage is just a teeny bit higher, 210 volts higher to be exact. Simply put, this 860 volt electrical eel would cause a lot of damage. How much exactly? Well, we're not really sure yet, but I'll tell you this, I will not be the one to find out. If you guessed that next on the list we'd have another nightmarish creature capable of causing serious damage to those who come too close for comfort, give yourself a pat on the back because you're nailing it, as this next animal is exactly that. The pyra, also known as the vampire fish, does not suck blood or insides of its prey, but it does have extremely large fangs that can grow to be up to 15 centimeters long. That's 5.9 inches, almost half a foot of nightmare fuel. You might think there's some kind of saving grace here, but there's not. This animal is extremely fast and highly aggressive, considered to be one of the ultimate jungle predators. I guess we did have to even the playing field somehow though, as in recent years, these feisty fish that measure in anywhere between 1.5 to 3 feet in length and weigh up to 20 pounds have become the catch of choice for fly fishers within the region. I hope you guys are doing all right, and I also hope you are not afraid of snakes, because if you are, this next one just might make your skin crawl. It's the green anaconda, aka the largest snake in the Amazon, reaching lengths of up to 30 feet, that's nine meters, and diameters of up to 12 inches, 30.5 centimeters. And if you're still not impressed, these animals can weigh up to an astounding 550 pounds or 250 kilograms. These animals are members of the boa constrictor family, and although they have incredibly sharp teeth and powerful jaws, they are, thankfully, not venomous. But of course, they're incredibly strong, and they use their strength to crush their prey by curling up around it and restricting its airways, providing little chance for escape. The green anaconda is not at all a picky eater either. With an expansive diet of fish, reptiles, amphibians, tapirs, deers, dogs, capybara, sheep, and whatever the heck else they can find, really. Luckily for us, attacks on humans are pretty rare, but not unheard of, and yeah, they can swim, like, really well. So, you know, keep your eyes peeled for these masters of camouflage the next time you're taking a walk through the Amazon jungle. And finally, to finish us off today, we have the Amazonian bullet ant. Just a little guy with a lifespan of about 90 days, growing to be between just 0.07 to 1.2 inches long. Living in the humid lowlands of the Amazon rainforest, this demon creature has the most powerful sting in the world. Getting stung by this guy has been described as pure, intense, brilliant pain. Like walking over flaming charcoal with three inch nails embedded in your heels. Oh my god, the Amazon needs to chill. 
Besides up to 24 hours of an intense amount of pain, symptoms of being stung by the insect include fever, nausea, trembling, and cardiac arrhythmia. So while you won't die, you will for sure feel like you're in hell until the symptoms wear off. If you guys want to hear something really wild, listen up. There are certain Amazonian tribes that use these ants in coming of age ceremonies, requiring young men to wear gloves filled with them for a total of 10 minutes in order to achieve status within their community. And in order to be considered a village warrior, they must complete the ceremony a total of 20 times. Thank God we made it. I know I'm not in the Amazon, but I will definitely be checking my sheets tonight after all of that. If you had a favorite animal from the list, let me know in the comments. I've been your host, Hannah Thompson, and I will see you in our next video. Mm -hmm.